So the bitters they make from this plant eh, is very it make them um, it heal their sick, some sicknesses. The meal it also help the meal in, to last long in bed and a lot of things. It's very powerful. Welcome back to Plant Lifestyles once again. Today I have this leaf uh, in my language, Koetinia Midria. You can find the English name in the title or you can find the English name in the description. Yes, this plant, as you can see, we use the back. I am teaching about the back today. We use the back for medicine. And then we use it for a lot of things. This is how the back looks like. Yes. So this is the leaf. This is how the leaf looks like. Uh, when you cut it, there will be some liquid dropping out. Let's move and check how it is. There will be some liquid dropping out from it. It is whitish. I want to describe it well so that you know the plant I'm talking about. This is the leaf. How the leaf looks like. This is the leaf. Yes, the leaf also have whitish liquid. So as you can see, there's a whitish liquid. Yes, from the plant when you cut it, you get a whitish liquid. It's very powerful. And then I'm going to speak about it. Its physical benefits and its spiritual benefits. Yes. So what does this plant do? Yes, today I'm moving to plant yes the back the back is very uh, is very powerful if if you have rashes on your body in fact if you have rashes on your body it's very powerful it can treat rash um in my language you have a kind of skin rash called a paw yes if it comes on your body they are big big like that when they come on your body you can use this one to treat it very easy you just make a paste from this the first one as this one and then you apply it on your body it 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 cures a lot of skin rashes so this leaf um this plant is very powerful in treating skin rashes it's very powerful yes stomach disorder this plant is also powerful treating stomach disorders um ranging from ulcer typhoid um, any sort of stomach cramps. If the stomach cramps is very serious, you have a cramps, stomach cramps, very serious, even vomiting and all those kind of stuffs. Just get the leaf, uh, the back, and then just once you get the back, cut it into pieces, small, 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 small pieces, and then wash it, pour the first water away, and then put it in another water. Once you put it in another water, you then add small salt. Let it stand for about five minutes. And then rinse it again and drink the water on it. That is around the back that you've cut. It will, it will, it will make your stomach stop. It, at least if there's any poison in your, uh, your stomach that is making your stomach pain you, you vomit everything out. Yes. Again, this plant is also powerful treating diarrhea. Those suffering from diarrhea, they will be visiting the toilet. If every two minutes they will go, every two minutes they will go to the toilet. It's very powerful in treating diarrhea. Just make a decoction, get enough back. The leaf is also powerful, but get enough of the back and then cut it into pieces and then use it as a decoction by boiling it and then taking it. You can also make a paste from this. Once you make the paste, add it to water, let the paste dissolve in the water, filter it. And take it raw to cure your malaria. Yes, it's very powerful. To cure your malaria is very powerful in treating that. This is called Nyamidria, literally known as God's tree. It is uh, people used to call it God's tree because in my language that is um Nyamidria. Nyami means God. Dria means um, a plant or a tree. So God's plant or God's tree. So once you are suffering from diarrhea, you take a drink from this plant. Are gone. It heals a lot of diseases. That's why the name suggests even God plant, meaning that there are a lot that it does. Even the liquid coming from it 
is used for marvelous things. It's used for marvelous. If you have a deep cut where the blood is oozing more and we are not close to hospital and want first aid, just cut the path and the white fish come in, just apply it and then the cut, um, the blood oozing will just cease. It's very powerful plant that you don't joke with it. Yes, that you don't, you don't joke with it. So please subscribe to the channel. There are a lot to be taught. This is our culture. This is what our great grandparents were using. This is what they were using to treat illness. Yes, they lived for many years long. They lived long and then 90 years, 100 years. Even we, um, we the generation where we have hospitals and everything, uh, modern medicine, modern capsules and modern tablets, modern syrup, we are dying younger. Why? Because the chemicals they used to produce that kind of medicine also have effect on us. But this one is natural, purely natural, that doesn't have any side effect on your body. Because God himself created the plant and told us to use them for medicine and treat our diseases. So the powerful aspect of this is that they treat both spiritual things and physical things. That is their health benefit and their spiritual benefit. Yes. So once again, this back. Mostly in my community, those who drink alcohol will soak it in their alcohol. They will cut it into pieces and soak it into the alcohol and then be taking it. You will be taking the raw alcohol and they will be taking the alcohol soaked with this. And you will be waiting that um, those, who, do, those who are drinking alcohol will die early. They will live long. Those people can live about 100 years, 190 years, and one, uh, 150 years and then they live long. Why? Because this plant, once they take the alcohol and the, this um, chemical is dissolved in the alcohol, you may think that the alcohol is going to destroy their liver, it is going to destroy their pancreas. No, this plant is there to compensate for the destruction the alcohol will make. So you see that they will take enough alcohol, all right, but they will be living long. So you'll be there saying, me, I don't take alcohol, and then you die early and then you go. It's, and those who are taking it raw, they will get disease and then die and go. Yes, they are not taking it raw because they've added this to, to their, in my language, you call it bitters. They make a bitters from this. Yes. Uh, and then even not uh, the bitters, though you call it bitters here, yeah, but I think it's an English word too. Yes. So the bitters they make from this plant, eh, is very, it makes them, um, it healed their sick, some sicknesses. The male, it also helped the male in, to last long in bed and a lot of things. It's very powerful. Once again, this plant is also beneficial in treating. Um, that's why I said I skin disease, a ringworm. You have ringworms in your head or on your body. The ringworm is very powerful. Just make a paste and apply it on the ringworm. And we are going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Yes, you can also make um, a decoction of it. You, you get it, you dry it in the sun. Once you get it into pieces, you dry it in the sun and then add it to your, uh, that is, you put it in your cooking pot, add water to it and then boil. Make decoction of it. Drink it to protect your, your, your body, the well-being of your body. It even boosts your immune system, the well-being of your body. It restores your um, an energy level and then even boosts your immunity. Yes. So in the, the, the our, our great-grandparents are going long because they depend on plants. Though there they, they were not a lot of education at that time, but they depended on plants and then they lived long. Nowadays, as I said, we have a lot of medicine. We have a, any kind of capsules around, but we are dying young because the chemicals used to produce the medicine or the capsules or the medicine is even hurting us. So thank you for watching. Thank you for um, liking our videos and thank you for subscribing to our video. See you in the next video.